Hello my angels and devils and all who may wonder here, it is Amanda Christina. If you've been on my Instagram lately, you have seen what is a very small sneak peek of this. Um, my table's a little bit of a mess, I still haven't quite put it, decided what's going on my table since Christmas. So <laughs> tablecloth's moved a bit but we'll, we'll, we'll be okay. <laughs> um, so I'm really proud of this. I'm going to leave a link below to the... To the um, first video and then it'll take you to the others for Rosa Kelly's tutorial. I followed it mostly. Now there are a few things I would do differently. For example, I would probably not wait to put this on and I also would not have bone folded it here. As you can see it sort of puts a wonky edge on it but that'll be covered up so the person won't see it. Now I am not showing you the cover of this and I will do another project share when the cover is done. The reason being that I don't want the person who this is for to know who it's for and the cover 100% gives away which friend I made this for. I have to go and take this to the post office to find out how much it's going to actually cost to send because it is over the 500 grams. Um, so you open it up and things fall out. No, that's not how it's supposed to be. Okay, so you open it up here. Now these rubber embellishments I've had for years. I couldn't even tell you the brand name right now. Um, these are just little heart shaped paper clips from Spotlight. Uh, these are Prima. The paper is, gosh, why can't I think of it now? I can't, uh, past time, but I cannot tell you who it's by right now. This, I think, is Seven Gypsies paper. This is K&Co Vellum. I'm really proud of how this pocket turned out. Um, oh, that flower's coming up a little, so I'll have to glue that back down. Um, K&Co Flower. Kaza 52 cents, I think it's called, ephemera. Um, these are planner um, post-it notes from Prima and I just thought they were so pretty that they'd make good little spots to journal. Uh, the washi tape is Little B. So then there's, so, so you open it up and these are the first couple of pages um, and then you've got the Mr and Mrs and it opens out and you get like, so there's lots of spots for photos or for journaling. I matted a couple under the Just Married because I thought that would be super cool and super cute. And there's, so you've got a fair lot of spaces to put some more photos, a little journaling card or whatever you wanted to use that little card for. Um, this is really out of my realm of experience, to be honest. This is not, I've never created anything like this and it was a really interesting learning curve. As I said, there are a few things I did wrong. Um, and there are some techniques that are mine that I would use again, like if I did it again, to do with just um, making sure your edges are fine and stuff. So then you, you open it up with the little I do. Now everything's kept, clicked together with magnets. <laughs> Gotta love magnets. And then you open it up and there's just a couple of journaling spots. This is from the pastime paper pad. This is from the pastime paper pad. And just to make it a little less Disneyland, and sort of travel. I just sort of covered over this bit and added a little bit more of the washi tape. Again, with the print, just for journaling spots or just to look pretty. So you just close it back up and it click, click clips back together. I really love this one. Now, I didn't use a lot of this Kaser paper in the range. This is, this is the same paper that I used at the start. And then you sort of, okay, you've got to put a finger on this to have it lift up here or you can lift it up with the flag or just anywhere else. It just, for some reason, now it's going to prove me now it's going to prove me a liar. Okay, so you open it down and you have this cute little pocket which if you watch my spotlight haul, you know I bought a couple of bags of these little pockets. Um, I think there were six in each and I've just added some tiny Mickey shaped tags but I haven't decorated these ones because I thought if the person who gets this wants to add in some of their own ephemera like tickets or other things like that, then they should be able to. And then I created this little photo mat with some journaling spots. This is just a little tag and a little tuck spot so they can tuck photos or, again, some ephemera in there. Then you've got another tuck spot and uh, places to put some photos and things. And then you have this with the... That was just a leftover piece of paper, some washi tape, and just one of the little ephemeras from the Kaiser 52 cents range. I think it was 52 cents. It was 52 something. <laughs> um, now, this side is one of the first pages I did, and I'm really, really happy with how this turned out. Now, if you, oh, and the other thing, sorry, I forgot about this, is the inserts. 
So I decorated both sides. Um, for, they're for photos or for whatever the person would like to put on them. But I wanted to make sure there was lots of room for photos and just everything else. Um, so then, yeah, so that's that photo mat. Then I've got one of these little princess um, stickers that I got, I hauled from eBay. And they're so pretty with the sort of like artist drawing type thing. And then this is just paper with marriage license, um, you know, marriage certificate, and you open it up. I do add the little subtle sort of Disney with the little Mary Poppins from that pastime collection paper. I used another one of the rubber charms that says happily ever after and it's got that mist I had two pieces of that Mr and Mrs paper and now I might be doing another wedding album I'm like oh I should have only used one and then there's this side which I tied in with the ribbon and I I didn't have a complete paper range for this so what I ended up doing and there's still a few finishing touches like putting ribbon and stuff down the middle and or washi tape and stuff and then that is that side um I used various things now this paper is really old as is this paper and this paper um i think these are both seven gypsies i might be wrong on that this i can't remember who made this paper but i went through about five to ten sheets of this paper i loved it so much um so again just with the wedding washi because i don't have a lot of wedding stuff i tried to make what i did but that's just a sticker from the thing what i've done with the stickers is i popped off their bling which was orange and clear and just replaced it with some of my own and i just made some little tags with extra of uh, like off cuts of paper and some of the washi tape uh, the bride had, I think it was lilac or sort of just purple roses, pale purple roses. So I just thought that was really nice. That is a Versamark chalk ink. And I'm really, I was really digging the chalk ink for this. Um, I know a lot of people do these books and they don't ink anything, but I really wanted to ink this up. I didn't have black, so like black cardstock. So then this is, if you saw my Instagram thing, this is my failed waterfall. Now, I wasn't happy with the waterfall. I wasn't happy with how it turned out, but I didn't want to waste that work. So what I ended up doing was pulling up the side belly band, putting it over the top, adding, creating a little thing to tuck it into and just having it as a little flip album, which I just thought that way the person can add photos or whatever they want to that and it's not a big drama and then I don't have to worry or feel bad that the waterfall isn't working properly because it still looks really cute and then that is I just use some of the off cuts of paper with some of the wedding washi and then that is more of the marriage certificate paper as I said I had I had two sheets of each of those ones okay so then we come to I, I really like this one now this is somewhat inspired by I'm a cool mum. I don't know if you watch her channel. She is a junk journaler. She is amazing. And she did this sort of like double gatefold flip, but she did it so they were slightly off centre. So I really liked that. This is more of the ephemera. That is a flower I made myself, which you, I don't know if you can see how sparkly it is, but it's it's a um, hand quilled flower that I made. And then you open it up and it's got the little... Um, cameras and then there's a spot for a photo this is Kaiser paper I couldn't tell you the range offhand um as I said I used a lot of different paper ranges in this and this is um this is another thing I did early on and that's why it's sort of got a like it's got the happily ever after ribbon from die cuts with a view some paper and some of the wedding washi I had something else here and it fell off so I just added a little bit of the um sparkly ribbon that I have um that I got from Woolworths that I've been like, oh, I wish I'd bought like 10 rolls of each. Um, not quite, but yeah. So we have Cinderella in that sort of animator style where she's drawn. I've changed the bling again to pearls. Just use this little blue frame because most of the wedding was sort of champagnes, blues and, yeah, and lilacs so, or, or like purples. So And then I've just used another one of these so that you know to pull it. And you have this, so I love this paper. That was another sort of discovery in my stash. Um, and then this with the music note. I wish I had more of that paper. Um, you know I really care about someone when I start raiding the pages that I have been literally hoarding for 10 years. So that's that photo mat and then that's just the other side. That was just another piece of paper I found and I just thought it looked really cool. Um, that's a 6x6 six six piece of paper, which is why it's not quite to the edges. 
I did also, one of the other things I can tell you 100% I did wrong is I put these all the way to the end and they're only supposed to go about halfway down. And then this back section is sort of the holiday or oceany section of the album. Um, so again, this is, um, I'm pretty sure it's 52 cents or something like that. It's a, it's a collection that didn't necessarily go with a wedding theme, but the bits I pulled out really worked well for it. So then you have this bit, and as I said, everything's magnet, so you open it up, and you have some photo mats, ones that I've just decorated one side of, and they can put photos on, a little journaling. Um, I thought the little bottle that said Clifford Seafoam was pretty apt because, and I found this piece of paper in my stash, and I really, truly wish I wished I had more of it because it does look really good with an ocean sort of theme. Then we have a um, two, two little pockets, which I've kind of pushed these in really hard. And again, I used two different colours of the chalk ink by Versamark. So then I just created these with a little bit of um, the leftover blue glitter paper that I used. Um, I, I have a set of these nesting um sort of they're supposed to be mickey but they almost look like bear to me um mickey shaped tags so i did three small and and i really love how the glitter paper looks in this it's so pretty i wish i could get more of that glitter paper it is just beautiful and it doesn't have the glitter fall that you would so what i did is i just used leftover bits to make up some tags this one says good times this one says a moment to remember and this one just has a journaling spot so that's what i did is i just sort of i decorated the tags but i didn't want to i don't know i didn't want to overdo it because this is a lot like this has been something I've been working on for, for just over a week now. Like, and It'll probably take me another couple of days just to get the cover done. So then what you do with this is, hang on, sorry, I'm trying to flip it the wrong way. Then you flip it this way. There's a whole thing where here where they can add extra, like a, a big photo or whatever they want. And then I added two lots of photo mats here. This one, I used some of the leftover paper, some more of the ephemera. And then there's just this little tuck spot and a space for photos. And they can put photos on the back. And then this one, I wasn't going to necessarily add in. And I thought, well, I should, okay, it goes that way. So there's a journaling spot, remember this, and then some wedding washi, and then just a little butterfly that can also be a tuck spot. So that's, okay, no, that's not the whole album. There's more, oh my God. <laughs> yeah, this was a big project for me. It's the first time I've done anything like this, and I'm honestly so happy and so proud of how it's turned out. Um, then you open up this bit. Um, and I really wanted to use this. The way is not in the sky, the way is in the heart because it seemed very apt for something that is wedding themed. And then what I did is I just, I had these little, they're photo pockets by, they're snap. And they've got the thing where you can just sort of put photos in and there's the back and front. So I thought that the person might want to create their own little flip and just add photos to that. But I just put some nice paper in there anyway, just in case they want to use it for backing or whatever. And just, just to make the album feel more finished. And then again with the magnetic snap and that's it. That is my very first made from scratch album, wedding album. Um, I'm not telling you who it's for. I will come back and do another video with all this in it. Um, a quick, uh, probably a quicker flip through and less of an explanation when I finish the cover and the back so that you can see what it looks like finished, but it will not be going up until it's set. So I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know what you think. Have you tried anything like this? Will you be trying anything like this? I'm so curious because it's something that I know is sort of a trend and has been around for a while, but I only just kind of discovered it when I saw Peggy Strong doing the Shelley Geigel stuff. And I did look at that, but I, not that it was confusing, but it was very product intensive for me, for someone on a budget. And this took up quite a bit of product, don't get me wrong. But I was also able to use stuff that had been in my stash for a long time. And that, I think, really, really helped. Uh, I do have a big project doing an album this year. But 
and I will show you the stuff I have for it but I won't be showing that for quite some time um, in terms of finished product because it's going to take a long time. It is not a small project. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. I will talk to you all soon, my angels and devils. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of this and have you tried anything like this? Um, if you were getting married, would you want something like this as a gift? Um, is it passe to put photos in albums now? That was a question that came up somewhere and had me thinking for a bit, to be honest. Um, anyway, thanks again. <laughs> Remember, as always, you are incredible, you are amazing, and you truly, truly do matter. I love each and every one of you. Thanks for being here on my journey, and I will talk to you all soon. Bye!